Hello, smart people out there. I hope you are enjoying this tutorial and, and slowly as we move ahead in this tutorial, the further slides will be more interesting and you will be getting a good hold on the Linux command line. This chapter is about the command structure and in this tutorial, we'll be getting to know what actually the commands are and how they are to structured in the Linux file system. You will be getting a more detailed way of working into the command line by seeing the command only you will be able to say that what actually the output is going to be so by the end of this chapter you'll be having a better understanding of the command and you will realize that commands are not just text as we say but it is actually a language when you see a command you actually will be able to picture the entire thing that how the command is working where the command has come from and you will be able to understand each and every reason behind the output that you are getting on the screen. So let's go ahead and start with the tutorial. Earlier we saw that the shell actually reads the command from your terminal window and it tells your operating system how to execute the command. But in your shell actually reads the command and it first goes to interpret the meaning of the command and for that it, it is supposed to know the path and it is supposed to know where the meaning is written. So for that, the shell is supposed to see the path of the command. You can also see the standard shell path. And for that, we will be using the echo command and the dollar symbol and in caps lock, you have to write path path. And this is something which is the path of the command which shell follows. It is like separated by the columns and the first path, the shell will start. From the left, it will go to the user local and has been folder. Then the shell will find the other command in the user and has been folder. Then the has been and, and so on and so on and so on. So it is like if you have entered any command and your command is not found by the shell in has been folder, then only it will go to the other for other folder. And if your command is existing somewhere in this folder, so it will check each and every folder up to here and then only when the command finds the your when the shell finds your command over here then it executes the command and show you shows you the output just imagine if i'm having a command which says a b c d and i enter this command this has given me an error saying that the command not found but obviously the command a b c d is not existing into the shell might have started searching for in the user as the local folder and from here it would have come to the games folder but it couldn't find the abcd command what if your command is existing in the bin folder so in that case the command the shell will start searching from the left and it will keep searching till the time it reaches the bin folder and shows you the command that is available so now we will be using the which command to know in which folder your command is located so i'll be writing which and i'll be searching echo so i'm able to see that echo command is available in the user bin folder in this folder i'll search again you can search like uh, which and in the first tutorial itself we learned that there are few commands like calendar so this which uh, calendar is available in user bin cal command you can also search for your which and uh, date so all these commands you you get to know that it is available in which folder over here you can also search for the which and which command so this which command itself is located in the user bin folder you can also customize the way a command works by giving them certain options and inputs and uh, it is important to mention right now over here that not all commands are requ are requ uh, requiring any kind of input like the date command for this you don't need to give any other extra input or option this date command will itself display a date so let's start with knowing what is an operand an operand is something which you call an input also and it alters the behavior of the command like the cal command when it is by default the cal command gives you the current month uh, calendar but if you will be giving but if i need to all change the behavior of the command i will be giving certain inputs like cal 2020 
and see the behavior of the command has been changed to change further i can give two inputs together to the command i'll be giving cal 12 2020 and i am able to see so what i have done i have asked cal the calendar command to give me the calendar for the 12th month of the year 2020 and it has given me the calendar for the december month of 2020 now let's discuss about the options this is where the things start getting more interesting i will be giving cal an option say it y so this y option actually gives the calendar of the current year i'll be using i can use similar for like uh, if you want to say if i'm using the date like if i'm using the date command it gives me the current date and time in the ist that is indian standard time format now if i'm giving an option to alter the behavior i'll be using u and it gives me now you notice that the output has been changed by giving an option and early it was the indian standard time now now it is giving me a universal time so now you might be wondering what is this u stands for this is actually a short form of the universal so there are in commands you can use short forms and long forms like the short names and the long names for a option like for date command this u option with one dash is called uh, the short name but if i want to use the full long name i can use the double dash and i can write universal but the output will be will be the same so if you don't remember the short names you can uh, you can use the long names if you, it is available with you or you can search the man pages which you will be le uh, learning later just right now you have to keep in mind that the long names are preceded by double dash and the short names are preceded by single dash one more important thing in linux the commands are case sensitive so if you are writing date the shell knows that where it is available and it gives you the output but if you write the same command in upper le case letter the command the shell will not be able to find out even if it is looking in the user bin folder and it is able to see that there is a date command available but it is in the lower case and it doesn't match with the exact case what you have written over here in the command line it will not show you the output same goes with the cal command or you can use the echo command let me clear the screen okay the clear also needs to be in the uh, correct format sometimes options can have their own inputs like if i'm using the cal command if i would have just written cal 2020 12 2020 it could have shown me only the calendar for the month of december 2020 but what if i write cal a dash a 1 and 12 2020 so this is like i'm asking the cal command to give me the calendar for one month after this a stands for after so this command should be giving me the calendar for one month after 12 2020 so let me press enter and see the output yes the command has given me the output as it has given me the calendar for january 2021 which is actually one month after january after 12 2020 again i can use multiple options with the cal command so i'll be using cal dash a1 and dash b2 i want 12 2020 here i am asking cal command to give me calendar for one month after 2020 in two months before 12 2020 so this should be giving me the output yes i have got the output like for 12 2020 i have got the calendar for two months prior to 2020 before 2020 and one month after 12 2020 so that's all for this current chapter in this chapter we got to know that command should be in the shell search path we also use the echo dollar path path command to see the shell path we got to know that commands require inputs to operate and using the inputs and options together you can alter the behavior of the command the command's behavior can be modified using the options and one command can have multiple options and you can also see commands which do not at all require any option or any command it just works by default 
by writing the command for example date command and the cal command and and the most important of all we got to know that a command is structured in a format where it is having a command name and it accepts certain options and inputs anything that is in the square brackets are optional in nature anything which is having angular brackets are mandatory in nature and anything which is followed by dot 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 that means that that command accepts multiple inputs or multiple outputs based on the dots where it is placed and we also got to know that each command behaves differently so the cal command behaves differently with different options different outputs and similarly goes with the echo command and the which command so you might have known till now that a command is having multiple methods to operate and its output can be altered in a multiple way and there are n number of commands which you have to work with so it is very difficult to know how to use each command and you will not be able to memorize at all even i won't suggest you memorizing all the commands so we have a solution the manual pages each command comes with their own manual page and this will be shown to you in the next chapter where we'll be learning how the manual pages are structured and how the manual pages can be used to know the working structure of the command so guys i'll be seeing you in the next tutorial